Well, hey, folks, this is Bad Guy Flies RC coming to you from the Arrows. From, from, I'm, bringing, I'm flying Arrows plane coming to you from the Aaron Park Arrow Modelers Club. I'm going to take up the uh, Arrows RC Marlin 64, 64 millimeter, and sent to me by Hobby Zone for review. Take a look at my uh, windsock and my little flag there. So that gives you an idea of the wind I'm dealing with right now. And look at the plane just sitting there. It's rocking back and forth. Definitely, more than likely, won't have to use flaps today. Right, left, up, down, right, left. All right. Okay, let's see what we can do with this this uh, Marlin, which actually is an Avanti by design. And I can go reaching for the imaginary retrax so I don't have. Try to keep her kind of clo as close in as I can. So I'm filming with GoPro. Mama had to work, so I took a week off to do some flying. And uh, so I can bring y'all some videos. How yeah, that wind is just moving her all over the place. Landing is going to be very interesting. I just flew the little Arrows F-86 and uh, it was <laughs> not a good fly. I mean, it, it landed okay, but it tore up the gear a little bit because the cross had to land the grass a lot. Yeah, this Marl is not a happy, not a happy camper right now. He's like, yeah, yeah, I saw what you, what you did to my brother, the F-86 now. You're gonna have to do the same thing to me. Oh man. <laughs> well. It's really too windy to fly. But we got a big storm coming in tomorrow. And uh, then I work all weekend, so. Yeah, she dug in. Um, but yeah, today's Wednesday, Thursday, we've got a big storm coming in. Yeah, you can't even see the wheels. And this is like rat grass, it's like a really rough grass. And, uh, but yeah, like I said, today's Wednesday. Tomorrow's a big storm coming in all day long, and then I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I work 12-hour uh, shifts, so the only thing I do on my work days is eat, eat, sleep, and work, and that's all I got. All right. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to go up again. You are a nut. You're a nut, fat guy. You're a nut. Putting your poor Marlin through this. But she handles it fine. You just gotta, you know, I mean, you stay on the sticks with any plane you fly. But when I say stay on the sticks, I mean really keep your concentration on what you're doing. Because you don't have, especially the jets and wind, your margin for error is tiny. Tiny. So the slide you know, you're already going faster as it is. You just really can't afford to make mistakes when you're flying a jet. And then with wind, it's just exponentially harder. And this is with AS. Oh man. And see, that's with the wind gyro in it. That's got the uh, AR630 uh, ant uh, antennaless receiver. And it's got a nice wind gyro or AS3X. Sure, my gear is not bent. Oh, I bent my nose here. Same thing I did on the F86. But I can there that's back now. Okay. Yeah, that'll be okay. 
make sure everything turns back here is fine just so you know this is not the stock gear this is the gear that comes that you buy on the fms uh, futura 64 it's the same gear and it, it is it assembles exactly the same way when our grass is nice and cut and level then i can take off and land with in the grass but today is today we should be a no fly day but i'm doing it anyways try ladder in front of me this time if i can probably don't need flaps but I'm trying to spot my landing time remaining one minute yeah oh man oh I got a minute left Oh boy, that was fun. All right. Motor off. Let's see what kind of juice. We got 30 seconds left, but I'm not going to push the battery. All right, that's where I've got. This is an HRB 2600 4S with a 60C discharge. Oh, let me. Mm. Thirty-nine percent, perfect storage rate. All right, let me uh, take a look at it. Make sure all my gears in good shape. That's a good-looking little plane, though. That really is. All right. I know I don't have retracts, but let me. Yeah, we're fine. Gear looks even. All right, we're good. Well, anyways, folks, that is the Marlin. Marlin 64 Sport Jet. It's an Avanti by design. To make it a true Avanti, you would have to have a keel going down the end. Other than that, um, it's, it's, a, it's an Avanti. Now, arrows, if y'all have any say in your next development, um, you need to put the keel in, and you need to put a piece of plastic uh, at least a, pla a white piece of plastic here because anytime you, you're always going to wheelie this plane and this is where your foam is going to get ate up i would all also make it optional i mean yes you can take the gear off but sell um, put servo covers on these that way the people can easily take the gear off and hand launch this thing put some thumb control thumb uh, placements in the middle here and uh, that way they can hand toss this and can protect the, uh, the gear. Um, but that you'd really get good performance, even more out of that without the drag of the gear. But, uh, there you go, folks. Now, if I could just get some companies to make some good quality uh, 64 millimeter uh, afterburners to go in there. I mean, there's ways of putting afterburners in for other things, but you put cross beams in there and zip tie it too. But I'd rather have a nice center afterburner that I can put in there that's not going to interfere with the airflow. Well, there you go, folks. This is part of my favorite Marlin or my favorite Arrows RC planes. My top, my top five. My top five um, are Marlin, the F86, the Avanti 50 millimeter, 
the um, F4U Corsair, and then, of course, Bigfoot. All right, folks. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends. And then Marlins. Bye-bye.